Today, we're diving headfirst into a sky-high showdown between two titans of the sky, the NH-90 and the Druv helicopter. Buckle up, because this is going to be a wild ride. Imagine a battlefield pulsating with tension, the air thick with anticipation. Two helicopters emerge from opposite horizons, their rotors slicing through the air with determined precision. This isn't some action movie cliché. This, my friends, is the reality of modern warfare, where air superiority can mean the difference between victory and defeat. The NH-90, a product of international collaboration, stands as a testament to European engineering prowess. On the other side of the ring, we have the Dhruv, a symbol of India's burgeoning aerospace industry, ready to prove its mettle on the global stage. Both choppers boast impressive capabilities, cutting-edge tech, and the ability to turn the tide of battle in an instant. Let's get to it. First up, we have the NH-90, a versatile beast born from the combined efforts of several NATO countries. This heavy lifter is like the reliable workhorse of the helicopter world always ready to tackle a multitude of missions. From transporting troops and equipment to conducting search and rescue operations, the NH-90 is a true jack-of-all-trades. This bad boy boasts a payload capacity of over 10 tons and can hit speeds of up to 300 kmmh. It's packed with sophisticated technology, including advanced avionics, a fly-by-wire control system, and a suite of sensors that would make even the most seasoned pilot draw. Whether it's navigating through treacherous mountain passes or braving stormy seas, the NH-90 is built to handle it all. Now, let's turn our attention to the Dhruv, India's homegrown hero of the skies. Developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, a HAL, the Dhruv is a testament to India's growing prowess in the aerospace domain. The Dhruv might be lighter than the NH-90, but what it lacks in sheer size, it makes up for in agility and adaptability. It's powered by two Shakti turboshaft engines, giving it a top speed of around 280 kmh. The helicopter is also designed for high-altitude operations, a crucial factor in regions like the Himalayas where thin air can cripple less capable machines. All right, enough with the introductions, let's get down to business. It's time to pit these two aerial behemoths against each other in a head-to-head -head showdown. Imagine a scenario where both the NH-90 and the Dhruv are deployed in a conflict zone. The NH-90, with its larger size and heavier payload capacity, has the edge in troop and equipment transport. It can carry more soldiers and heavier weaponry, making it a valuable asset in a large-scale assault. The Dhruv, on the other hand, excels in maneuverability and speed. It can navigate through dense forests and mountainous terrain with relative ease, making it ideal for stealthy insertions and quick extractions. The NH-90 can be armed with a variety of weapons, including cannons, rockets and missiles. The Dhruv, while not as heavily armed, can still pack a punch with rockets, missiles and machine guns. So, who emerges victorious from this clash of the titans? Well, as with most things in life, it depends. In a straight-up dogfight, the NH-90's heavier armament and armor might give it an edge. But in a scenario that demands agility and stealth, the Dhruv could easily outmaneuver its larger opponent. Ultimately, the better helicopter depends on the specific mission requirements, the operating environment, and the tactical objectives at hand. Each machine has its strengths and weaknesses, and it's up to the commanders on the ground to choose the right tool for the job. The evolution of military helicopters like the NH-90 and Dhruv is a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of technological advancement. These aren't just flying machines, they're symbols of a rapidly changing battlefield where speed, agility and technological superiority are paramount. As we look to the future, one thing is clear. The skies will be filled with even more advanced and capable helicopters pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Imagine helicopters with even greater speed and maneuverability, capable of performing complex aerial maneuvers that would make even the most experienced pilots' head spin. We're talking about autonomous capabilities, allowing helicopters to fly and fight without the need for human pilots, reducing the risk to human life 
and opening up new tactical possibilities. The world of military helicopters is constantly evolving, and the NH-90 and DRUV are just a glimpse into the exciting possibilities that lie ahead.